this is Neil at FabLocker Hackerspace doing another tutorial on the Prussian Mendel, Maker Gear Prussian Mendel. This is assembling the Y idler. Um, the order for this part is nut for the outside, nut washer, um, printed um, broad coupler, washer nut, and then a nut, the idler integrated together, the printed part and the bearing. Nut, nut, washer, and rod clamp, washer, and then two nuts. As usual, it's easier to start from the middle. You need to make sure that the bearing is all the way in and pushed all the way up against the lip so you don't have a wobbly, wobbly idler cause you no end of headache later. So we'll go ahead and make sure that that is nice and tight. This is the bottom rod. You want to start from the middle. Let's go ahead and put your idler on first. On the other side, you had you want to make sure whenever you integrate the frame that the idler, the lip on the idler is the same on both sides. Really doesn't matter either way. You sh your belt should not be jumping up onto that lip anyway. If you frame, if you jigged your frame correctly, so that doesn't end up being that big of an issue. But do be sure to get that finger tight and make sure that it spins. Nut washer or clamp. Washer and nut. So the same thing. Not, and you're done with that part. Hey guys, this is Neil of Adblocker Hackerspace doing another drill for RepRap. This one will be how to do the Y motor side of the um, frame. So what you're going to see here is it's really important you get the order here right. So what you're going to want for the order on these rods is a nut, nut, and then a washer, your clamp, a nut, or a washer, and then a nut. Then for the motor, it's going to be nut, washer, your printed part, two washers, a nut, and these two connected, and the nuts directly against the bearing, which is different than normal for assembly. Then nut, washer, printed clamp, washer, nut, and then one nut for the frame. Then on the bottom, it'll be nut, and then another nut, washer, which will then go to this printed part washer nut and then a nut for the frame again. So we we'll and show you putting together. Usually a lot easier on this part if you go ahead and start in the middle. Remember two washers against this side. That gives you spacing for the motor threes that you're going to put into the motor. And to get that 
bearing into the printed plastic piece, what I usually do is just take a rod, get yourself a nut, yourself a little nub right there. Then use the nut itself to push it in. And what you want to make sure is that, uh, again, the washer has went all the way up in there, all the way around. If you don't make doubly sure of that, you can end up having a wobbly push or pulley. So you want to make really sure that it's all the way up in there. And do not worry about checking distances on this assembly. And to go into the frame, and then do the bottom part, which goes right here. Again, start in the middle. Anytime you're going up against an RP part, I'm just them up. Now you do want to make sure that these line up. Jigging isn't all that important, but you do want them to be generally lined up at this point, or it makes it a little harder. Oh, I was a control one now. So there you go. As wobbly as it is, that is completed. You then go on to the outdoor side.